This is DPA Workstation 8, the premier side channel analysis platform that includes an integrated suite of hardware and powerful data visualization software for testing and analyzing the vulnerabilities of cryptographic chips to power and EM side channel attacks. With this platform, users can test every stage of the side channel analysis process, including exploration, acquisition, signal and pre-processing, prediction, partitioning and analysis, and hypothesis evaluation. As part of the upgrades to DPA Workstation, or DPoS, we've added some highly sought after features to a new integrated analysis environment, which comes equipped with an all new trace display capability for SPA analysis, a project library manager with an integrated view of multiple related data sets, enabling users to easily collect and organize related data and scripts while minimizing effort for collection and analysis. And finally, new scripting modules for familiar environments including MATLAB and Python, improving usability. And even with all of these upgrades, DPoS 8 continues to support all legacy tools and systems providing an easy upgrade path and familiarity for existing users. DPoS 8 workstations come with a complete suite of drivers, hardware, and interfaces for several common test platforms. Some of the supplied interfaces and hardware are a smart card test fixture, a D-pad board for rapid FPGA and ASIC core development, and while the Sasebo board is no longer available, it is still fully supported by the platform. In addition, DPoS8 gives the users a framework and utilities to easily develop interfaces to support other devices. As another key feature, DPoS contains a comprehensive help system that provides quick access to reference documentation and training material. Now that we've covered some of the new features of DPoS 8, I'd like to demonstrate some of those features by walking through the exploration and collection phase of a typical analysis, highlighting those features along the way. We begin by launching the DPoS 8 integrated analysis application and opening a new project. For this demonstration, I'll be using Python as our scripting language and Visual Studio as our Python script development and debugging environment. We can also do all of this interactively, but using a script will let us better keep track of the project. DPoS 8 provides scripting modules that help simplify collection and analysis. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the DPad platform that is included with DPoS 8 and run a basic, unprotected AES algorithm. I'm going to start with a simple script to verify that we are correctly interfaced to the device and that it is performing its proper function. We'll run a quick test to see that we are properly connected and getting the expected results. Now let's add a simple loop to our script that exercises the device and allows us to set up the scope input and triggering. For this walkthrough, I'm using the digitizer built into the workstation for the scope. I'm connecting the input and trigger to the device and adjusting the scope settings to get a clear view of the signal during the AES operation. Once all this is done, the only thing left is to interface to the scope and save the traces as DPoS collects them. DPoS has some powerful APIs integrated that let us interface with the scope and save the trace, plaintext, ciphertext, and collection parameters. Here I'm going to set up DPoS to collect 10,000 traces. Returning to the DPoS integrated analysis application, we will import and display the dataset we just collected. The application features a clean, intuitive interface with tips to help you become even more productive. The trace display capabilities have powerful features for viewing and analyzing SPA and DPA traces. Reference, comparison, and difference traces are simultaneously displayed. Controls let you efficiently interact with the software using the mouse or keyboard and instantly see the results. You can quickly step through the traces to identify the dynamic variations. You can easily pan and zoom using either the mouse or keyboard, and cursors can be used to measure and inspect the details. This demonstration has highlighted some of the new features of DPoS 8 that greatly simplify and enhance the DPA process. 
Once you have performed the analysis and testing using DPoS, you are able to quickly and easily assess any vulnerabilities your FPGA or ASIC may have and address them with confidence in your results. The DPA Workstation 8 is available today to customers worldwide. For more information, visit rambus.com/dpa.